Big golf day meant for people who enjoy the game to get into the out there and play a round or two. One course typically has 18 holes designed not to challenge golfers, but also educate players and families about science, climate, and the floor, local Florida habitat. This is really cool. Joining yeah, us live this. from West Palm Beach in the conservation course is Christian Zambrana. Christian is the director of visitor services at the South Florida Science Center and Aquarium. Christian, thank you so much for joining us on an early tea time today. People who play at your course are actually put a putting with a purpose. Can you tell us more about that and how this course came to be? Yeah, sure. First, uh, Stephanie, Kevin, thanks for having me on today. Super excited to talk about our conservation course. Uh, the idea for the course actually started uh, many years ago. Uh, we opened the course in November of 2016. And what we really wanted to do is really take advantage of the uh, climate here in South Florida. Uh, as you guys probably know, it's pretty much summer almost all year round. So <laughs> we wanted to bring people outdoors, give them something fun to excuse me, give them something fun to do uh, while enjoying the weather, but also tie in that educational aspect as well. And what better way to do that than to focus on one of the greatest natural wonders that we have here in South Florida are the Florida Everglades. So each of the 18 holes is actually going to be sponsored by different flora and fauna that you can actually find here uh, in South Florida. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about that. Um, what do people say after they play? I mean, because I think this is a great way to get education in, you know, for kids like, oh, I might be interested in going into science this way. But what are you hearing from the players? Yeah, well, mostly what we're hearing is the enjoyment coming from our families. You know, we've, uh, over many years, really tried to hammer down that formula of balancing both fun and education. Uh, and with this course, uh, we've really upped the fun uh, factor uh, while also still maintaining that educational aspect. So kids are going to be having fun playing mini golf, but they don't even realize that they're learning about each of the holes as they progress through each of the 18 holes. Um, so it's a really cool way to kind of integrate that edu educational aspect without really throwing it in your face and kind of uh, sneaking it in there for the kids. And the parents are going to enjoy that as well because, uh, again, keeps them entertained, but it also educates them along the way. <laughs> keeps them entertained and educated, too. Christian, a lot of golf courses are known for the lush vegetation. They're known for the water features. How hard is it to maintain this course? Yeah, well, luckily, most of what you're going to find on the course is actually going to be um, local foliage that we would normally find here in Florida. Uh, and because we've got such great weather year round, it's actually really easy for us to maintain the course because it's all the stuff you'd naturally find here in South Florida anyway. So you'll see the great royal palms. You'll see all of the great ferns that we have out there. We have a beautiful butterfly garden with milkweed towards the back, which attracts all of our monarch butterflies as they migrate down here uh, each year. So lots of fun and cool things for you to see all throughout the course. Uh, and it's pretty easy for us to, to maintain that just because it's what's already in our backyards. Christian, about 30 seconds. Uh, do you see these popping up elsewhere? Are there any future changes coming to your course? Yeah, well, we hope so. We do have some big plans for the Science Center and the future, so hopefully you guys will stay tuned for some of those updates. Uh, but the course is here to stay, and it's actually been ranked uh, by Travel Channel as one of the 13 best mini golf courses across the country. So hopefully we can bring some more people out and show them what beautiful course we have here in South Florida. You know, I grew up in West Palm. I'm going to have to tell all my uh, friends, <laughs> all friends to yeah. take that, you know, are still there to uh, head over yeah, to the course there. Bye. I will. Christian Zambrana, Director of Visitor Services at the South Florida Science Center and Aquarium. Thank you so much.